Hey, how's it going, you goofy gravelers? Today we're taking a look at Vile Plume Stall, Plume Stall, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know the correct name of what people call us. Uh, it's a control deck. It's based around uh, the, the big thing that gives this deck uh, potential to be good is the Vile Plume. Uh, get him out there. No basics can attack him. That shuts off a lot of attackers in the current format. And then uh, you kind of build your board based around whatever they're playing, um, depending. Um, and uh, you close out the game through unknown hand. So this is Riley Hubert's list, um, uh, who just got top four at Collinsville Regionals. I've never really played around with a deck like this, so this is gonna be a little bit of a learning experience um, for myself as well. Uh, but yeah, this is his list, top four Collinsville Regionals. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try the deck out and uh, see what it's all about. Going second in this first game here versus a Pikaram, I assume, and there's already the concession. That's how good this deck is. Your opponent doesn't even play out their first turn, and they're already conceding. Into his second game here, hopefully going to last a little bit longer than the first game, so we can show off the uh, capabilities of this deck. Um, like I mentioned in the intro, we're just kind of trying to base our board off of what our opponent's playing. We basically just try and set it up so our opponent can't attack us, um, and then from there we just try and. Get unknown hand. Okay, so I think we're playing a mirror match. So this this all devolves into find Stevens, play Stevens. And I hope you don't prize what's it called. So we didn't prize unknown hand, but our hand stinks past that. I'm gonna go ahead and pass to our opponent. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're playing a mirror match. So the whole matchup devolves into an unknown hand race. And they are currently way ahead on the on the race. They, they're playing a Bills this turn, whereas we played a copycat and got nothing. And it looks like our next turn is gonna be uh, Lusamine for copycat and do nothing maybe they are playing something else but i'm not afraid of a whaler being knocked out on the next turn so yeah we'll be chilling gonna get our copycat could even bench our unknown next turn so that way it's just in play ready to go which i think i probably will do before we play copycat next turn um yep they're gonna go lucimine for bills uh we do not have a way to reset their hand but we do have copycat so we can kind of like match them in hand size and then hope our next turn is better than theirs um Copycat, and we're gonna hope for, I guess I could have played that, the Stadium because I don't really wanna draw that. Yeah, hope for the Stevens Resolve, which we do find. Um, now we're matched them in hand size, so we're kind of like on par with them. And now they're gonna hit us with the Bills Analysis, but we're gonna play Stevens Resolve for our turn, which gives us plus one card over our opponent. So uh, we will be ahead a little bit here. We do need to like find a way to move our active as well. So we have to check for the rainbow and make sure an Ace of Roll is in the deck. So we can move this Magikarp Waylord, or if they for some reason bench something, we can get a Guzma and then Guzma something up. Um, but yeah, it really is a race at this point. We already have our Unknown in play, which is actually a pretty big deal. And a Stevens Resolve top deck is actually huge. All right, let's check for Rainbow. Rainbow's here. Um, there's at least one Ace Roll here. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab those now because we just need to grab cards in general. Or we, would we prefer to top deck those? Does it matter what we top deck? I don't think so. And we're going to go ahead and grab Skullgrunt, because I feel like Skullgrunt could be really, 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 really good at stopping our opponent from being able to move their active Pokemon. But I guess we've already benched our Unknown, so I guess that was a maybe a mistake in benching our Unknown. We could like Skullgrunt a little bit earlier, though, check that, and then pull off a Lusamine, our, our own Unknown, for a turn. Because um, then they can't, if we discard their Rainbow, they actually can't move their active, because they only have Rainbow plus Acerola or Guzma. But because we already benched our guy, they can Guzma their Unknown into the active. So that was a little bit of a mistake on my end. Um, we need what 35 cards, I believe 35. All right, so we got three six nine twelve We have 12 right now gonna top deck for 13. So we're a ways away, but um, It's a matter of time. I think I don't know if we're ahead three six Nine eleven we're gonna have 15 16 on the draw. Okay, so we're not quite ahead But they have been struggling to find Stevens like they just found the first Stevens So they're gonna have to get a Stevens with the Stevens whereas we don't have to get it We didn't get a Stevens with our Stevens um, but I guess it's still a card either way, right? So maybe it actually doesn't matter. Man, I'm learning a whole ton of things about this matchup uh, right now. Um, I don't want that loose me actually instead. And I think the most aggressive way for us to do this is to go, well, we only have one. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we prize a loose mean. So I think we have to go, we could go Stevens for Gladion, Gladion for loose mean, loose mean for two Stevens, or we could go loose mean for Stevens. Oh man. I'm not sure what to do. What's the fastest way to get us to the amount of cards we need? We have no way to disrupt our hand unless I'm mistaken. So we're gonna go Stevens here. This is our last Stevens. We have one Stevens in the deck, so we definitely take a Stevens out of the deck and we'll decide what we're gonna for sure get. Get a Gladion for that option. Oh, and then I guess Bill's Analysis is the correct card to draw because that gets us two cards. 
So I bet it should have been taking Bill's analysis this whole time. No. All right. Three, six, 12, 15, 18, 21. Trying to get to 35 or more. You know, whatever happens first, we'll take it. Um, but we're a ways away. And uh, our opponent is definitely ahead. I guess if they screw up their Stevens at some point, we'll, we'll get back ahead. But I don't think they're going to. I think we're staying behind on this one. I don't think there's a way for us to get ahead. Unless they unless they unless they forget that Bills works the way it does. Then we're looking at us potentially winning. <clears throat> uh, we could hit them with the skull ground at some point. Let's see, they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We have wait, what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, we're actually pretty close. Um, so, Stevens, get those other bills, the bill boys. Um, grab a Mar. Oh, Mars is just insane. We decreased their hand size by one and plus ours by one. That is crazy good. Okay. These three it is then. Oh, Tate and Liza is also a card in this for us to move our active. Oh, we don't want to go Rainbow Ace Aurora anyways, though, because. Oh no, we do. The Rainbow Ace Aurora is fine because this guy doesn't need an energy. I was like, he needs an energy to attack, but no, it's an ability. It's crazy good. All right, so we're chilling again. Um, like I said, they still have the Guzma play they can pull up. But if we go Skull Grunt next turn, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, so 20, 23, 24 on the top deck. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to like math it out in my head because that seems like way too hard. We could go Skull Grunt though, try and get rid of the Rainbow Energy. Um, we have ours in our hand, so they can actually do that to us. I shouldn't have gotten Rainbow Energy as early as I did, I guess. Uh, but we gave them the Guzma option, so that's like really good for them. So. Let's count our hand. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Um, 22. We'll be at 23 if we do the Ace of Roller play. So I think we just go ahead and Mars while their hand is smaller. Maybe we get something really good. Ooh, a Lucid Mean is actually very good. And then pass. I think yeah let me count one more time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three we have twenty three we need at least twelve more yeah we need twelve more that's quite a bit our opponent has uh three four five six oh man seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so we have equal hand sizes now, us and our opponent. Um, there's a Lusamine. That is a super slow turn from our opponent, but they do get a Steven's Resolve on a Lusamine. Um, so that's just not that bad because you get plus one on the Lusamine, right? Don't you? Is Bill's analysis better or is it better to play Lusamine? We have both options. I think. I can't find it. There it is. Um, so what if we, if we Lusamine for two Steven's Resolves? Um... And then go Steven's Resolve, Steven's Resolve. We're minus one. So we'll be at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, 23 plus seven, 30. Man, we're still a ways away. Um, Bill's analysis is basically plus one draw using Lucimine for the turn to get back two Steven's plus six over the next two turns. And then plus one from the bills. So I just can't. I'm, I'm like struggling to figure out actually which is better here. It also make our opponent go minus one with the what's it called? The Mars. So we could just go Mars at Stevens. I kind of like that. And then done. Yeah, I'm still not sure who's gonna win this one right now. It's pretty close. I'm just gonna kind of let it play out. Um, all the math involved is kind of hurting my head to actually figure out who's gonna win first. And if they got it, they got it. Could hit him with the skull grunt here, but I think we're gonna go with Mars. Where you at, Mars? Let's like find it. There's Mars. Mars plus two minus one. 
Bills is okay. That's okay with me. Um, do we have an Acer Roller? We do, so we're ready to go with that. And pass. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Uh, 28 with our top deck. Uh, if we use the Acerola, it would be 29. Because um, we we'd be getting the Rainbow Energy. So it'd be tw no, it would be even. It would be still 28 if we use Acerola. So Bills is plus one on the turn. So we'd be up to 30 next turn with the Bills. 32, 34 over two turns with Bills. So maybe we should just... Well, Stevens is plus... Stevens is plus two cards on the turn. I don't know, man. <laughs> this one is so hard to figure out. There's another ace roll. So we're gonna go Stevens Resolve. I think we can take like any three cards. I don't think it matters what we grab here. Let's grab Guzma. Let's, let's give ourselves some variety of cards. Stuff that we, you know, who knows? We might need them. There we go. Those are cool. Those are cool cards. I'm gonna count once again. You guys are gonna have to hear it once one more time. Three, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Um, and we draw 31. Um, play this. 32, because we're losing bills. Um, and then pass. And then we play another bills. Uh, go 33, 34. I think we're gonna lose. I actually don't know. I don't know what our opponent has. I could have played Gladion for Lusamine, Lusamine for stuff, and then go play one of the Lusamine cards, which would have been a Stevens Resolve. Or I could have played a Mars actually off of the Gladion for Lusamine. Our opponent might have it this turn. I actually don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna count their hand again. This is like insane. I'm sure there's like some correct way to play the mirror match. I have no idea what it is. I think our opponent might have a little bit better idea what it is as their discard pile is just this. I mean, our discard pile is... We played copycat twice. No, our discard pile is fine. We just have different arts. Our discard pile is a little bit more spread out, but it should be like four. Two. Mars is definitely pretty good in this matchup for sure. I think if we had access to... No, we had four. If we had access to one more Lusamine, I think we would have just won. If our third Lusamine wasn't prized... And we didn't have to use our second lucid being just for a copycat. I think we would have won. So here goes Bills. We take just any two. It doesn't really matter. These two. Those are cool. Uh, take those. And I think we're just going to pass. And we'll see if our opponent has it. We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 12, um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay. We actually have it next turn. Top deck 35. Attach rainbow place Arola. Oh no, we'll go down one card there. We'll go minus one when we play Arola. No, we'll go even because we get Magic Carp Wailer back into our hand. Um, but we lose the Ace Arola. So we'll go even next turn on cards, and then we actually win with that on hand. So if they have 35 this turn, they win. If not, we win. We'll see what they got though. Um, yeah. If they have 35 here, they just win. Um, but I'm not going to count their hand. That's too much to count. That's too much counting. I've already counted way too much. Oh no, the Mars. Oh no. We're minus one, they're plus two, and I think actually that means we lose. Yeah, Mars by far, I think, the best card in this matchup, and I don't think we can do anything about it, except play another Bills and get plus another card. So, that's it. We get plus two, um, but the Mars is too strong from our opponent, and I think they definitely have 35 now at this point. They weren't that far behind us. So, with the Mars play, minus, minusing us one card, uh, we're gonna be exactly at 35. Um, now we're at like, well, now we are over 35, but that's because of the bills. Um, oh, the skull grunt. No. Well, now we definitely lose because we, they got skull, they skull grunted our rainbow. So now we have no way to win the game because we can't move our whale lord. Oh no, we have Tate and Liza. Actually, we maybe still win. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I gotta count. Uh, we're going to top deck one. Well, let's just wait until we top deck it and then I'll count. Top deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 30. 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5. Oh no, but we're going to play the Tate and Liza, which takes up a card. Ah, oh, man. This matchup is so complicated. 
Um, do we just play our own skull grunt? No, because we need to be able to like move next turn. I guess we just pass. Pass to our opponent. They draw. Because um, if I play the skull grunt, we're minus one card, and we're just like that much further away from. I guess I could have played the Gladion this turn. That's what I could have done. Could have played Gladion. Um, back over to our opponent. Maybe they prize their unknown, and that's why they haven't won yet. But also, they maybe just don't have 35 cards. But I haven't counted their hand in a while, and I'm not gonna do it. Nothing can convince me to count their hand. If they have it, they have it. There's nothing I can do that interacts with their hand besides the Skull Grunt. But they already have a Guzma target, so that's why I haven't really cared about going down the Skull Grunt strategy. Okay, there's their unknown. I'm sure at this point they have it. Either Tate and Liza or Guzma. Bring up our unknown and then uh, finish them off or finish me off with hand from unknown and securing uh, our opponent the game. Um, interested to see how it played out. Mars is definitely the best card in this matchup, I feel like. Um, so going after Mars feels pretty good. Lucid Mean Chaining Mars potentially. But really, um, it feels like just four, you want to throw four Stevens out there. Um, Lucid Mean for double Stevens. Oh, wait. Does that mean we have it? That's it. We've done it. They didn't have a way to get the unknown into the active. Or they didn't quite have 35 cards. I think they probably miscounted and were like, oh, wait. Benching unknown plus using Tate and Liza or Guzma is minus two. Um, so they didn't quite have it there. And we're actually able to take away the victory in that mirror match. Not super fun um i don't i didn't have a ton of fun with that one it was all right let's see if we can't get a more inter entertaining interesting game in the next one no idea what we're playing against so we're just gonna open rigid gigas which is kind of the most neutral of pokemon in general for our matchups rare candy plus dark energy plus energy switch i'm feeling incineroar um is that a hard matchup that's probably a well we'll see i'm i'm feeling incineroar though i'm, I'm, I'm assuming incineroar Yep, with the Hoopa GX. Uh, so we definitely want to get out Hoopa. I think Hoopa's our main guy in this matchup. Prevent, uh, prevent, uh, yeah, prevent attacks from uh, the Incineroar GX as well as this Hoopa GX. Hoopa's going to be our main guy. Hoopa is definitely going to be our main guy. I can't think of a mainer guy than Hoopa in this one here. Can we get knocked out next turn? I don't think so. So I don't think I'm going to bench this Regigigas. Um, I might. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of torn on that one. I don't know how afraid I have to be of getting knocked out next turn. I don't think I'm very afraid of getting knocked out next turn. But I guess it is possible. I'm trying to think of a way it's possible. Actually, I'm not sure. You know what? It might be possible. I guess they could go like uh, Candy uh, into Incineroar GX, use the ability, put three damage counters on it, and then I think it's like 60, it's 50 or 60 times. I actually don't remember. So I think I'll, I will bench another Gigas to be safe. And then we'll Steven's Resolve for uh, two Hoopas and Steven's Resolve. And then we'll be chilling, straight chilling. I'm not going to use the Acrobite because I don't really need anything off it. But I guess if I saw a Hoopa, then I could get something else with the Steven's, something like that. So that's like reasonable. That's like a reasonable, like, well, well if you see something off the Acrobite, that might change what you get. But no, nah, we'll be chilling. We're going to bench Gigas, uh, play Resolve. Uh, the idea of playing the Acrobikes is super sketchy to me because it feels like I'm going to always discard something I want, but it's probably not that bad consistently. We're just going to go with the Stevens. Um, get Hoopa Hoopa. Uh, I don't know, what do we prize? Prized an Oddish. Prized a Max Potion. Mm, uh, Wondrous Labyrinth. That's three. Uh, a Bill's Analysis. That's four. Prized a Lucid Me. That's five and something else something else is prized who knows oh is it the other gladion actually i think it was the other gladion all right i think i actually know all my prizes that's pretty cool i don't do that very often no leaks um yeah so we've got the double hoopa steven's resolve so what depending on what they do their next turn we will just throw down two hoopas and be like well you're gonna have, something, have to have something way more than what you're what you got going on here bud and i think we'll take this game pretty handedly i can't i mean i don't know what Litten's first stage evolution does but i don't think it's that good so um not super afraid of it i'm not super scared of it i'm i'm feeling i'm feeling fine I'm, i feel like this is okay i feel like we're in an okay position um yeah cynthia yeah even if like you know candy and Cinderella is cool but they can't hit hoopa and i, th I wouldn't actually be surprised for if our opponent conceded um actually after we bench the two hoopas um yeah that's kind of how uh this deck works We'll see what our opponent's got, though. <clears throat> I 
They are using the Rogue Ring. So they'll, they'll have a candy, what's it called, next turn for sure. It just depends uh, what else they have. What else they have is the important part. Um, and I think I will like... So the only thing I can think of that could go wrong in the, at this point is they can use the first stage, the stage one of Incineroar, to start attacking us. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go Steven's Resolve. I'm going to get a Plumeria on this one. Um, we're going to get like Lusamine, uh, Steven's Plumeria. Boom, boom, boom. Be, be big chilling with these. Um, yeah. And we'll look to just go start Plumeria. The, uh, what, I don't even know the name of the, the, the Pokemon. I don't know what the Pokemon's name is. Um, there we go. There's an Incineroar. Uh, so it's got the darkest tornado. Oh, it's 10 plus 50 free damage counter. I knew it wasn't like, I was like, in my head, I'm like, it doesn't do 150 if it has three damage counters. I was like, for some reason, I know that. Um, and that's because it is 10 plus. Um, crushing Punch. Discard Special Energy. Not worried about that. That can't hit Hoopa. Yeah, they're just never hitting Hoopa. And I don't see a Ditto at all here. So uh, I don't think they play Muck. So we're chilling for a while. I don't think they have a way through the Hoopa. So it's just going to be us uh, us wondering if they actually have an out to the situation, which I think they might just not. Um, they probably play one of the stage ones at least, so that's the only thing we really have to deal with. This thing isn't really that big of a threat, I don't think. Um, nope, not a big threat at all. Interesting plan. Oh, it's because they're going to go with the Scar Charge. Okay. Fine with me. We're going to get hit for 130, and then we're going to draw for turn, and we're just going to play Steven's Resolve. Um, yeah. I don't think they got anything. I think we're just chilling. We're just eventually going to win with Unknown Hand. Uh, well, they'll probably concede before them, though, let's be honest. Um, go ahead and grab just like uh, Lusamine, Plumeria, Stevens again, I guess. Oh, we don't need another Lusamine yet. Um, I don't know. Skullrun's kind of cool. Plumeria, Stevens, Skullgrunt. That's cool with me. I like those cards. Gonna go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we're not gonna Skullgrunt our opponent until we see... There's no threat that can get through the Hoopa right now, so we're not gonna Skullgrunt until they start trying to develop a threat that can actually hit Hoopa, and then we're like, okay, this thing can hit Hoopa. Uh, we'll Plumeria the energy, and then once they get like a, a big hand with a Cynthia or something, we might switch it up and go with a Skullgrunt on the turn instead, and be like, okay, now we're just gonna try and get extra energy, more than one energy out of the play on the turn, so we'll go with a Skullgrunt instead. Um... So, yeah. But if our opponent just doesn't have a way to actually attack Hoopa, then uh, we're chilling. We're not worried about anything. Yeah, there's another Incineroar GX. That is another thing that cannot attack Hoopa. So, uh, I think we maybe got this one uh, locked up. I think our opponent just doesn't know it yet. I think that's the situation we're in. We know what's up. They don't know what's up, though. They think something else is going on, but that's not going on. That's not that's not what happened. What's happening? But we get, we will get to see a little bit more of this deck throughout this game, at least see how it works. Um, this is basically what you want to do. You're like, okay, my opponent really only has uh, for efficient attackers. They really only have GX Pokemon. I mean, maybe they play a Fire Energy and they can Flare or Bite us, but that's not super efficient. Um, so you're like, okay, they only have GX Pokemon. Okay, go Hoopa. And you send out your Hoopas, and you're like, okay, they can't hit our Hoopas super efficiently. We'll see if they have some other attacker that's inefficient at KOing Hoopas, and then we'll deal with that when that, <coughs> when that comes up. But until that comes up, we're just going to sit Hoopas here, not bench anything else, and use Steven's Resolves and Lucid Means and kind of draw our whole deck. Like this. Um, grab that. I'll grab Mars. I don't even, like, I don't... I'm, I'm like kind of lost on actually what to grab here. I'm not going to lie. My experience with this deck is very little. Um, and the, the big thing about this deck is just learning the matchup so you know what to take off Steven's Resolve. Um, uh, but me not having any idea what uh, how to play out matchups, I have no idea what to grab off Steven's Resolve. So we're just kind of grabbing cards. It's, I mean, it's worked out so far. So they might actually GX us this turn then because uh, they did hit themselves again. I don't know why they would hit themselves. They could just two-shot it. There's the GX aggressively. So this almost makes me think that they have a way to deal with Hoopas. So now I'm curious to see it. I want to see them be able to deal with the Hoopas. We'll see. Draw. We're just going to go Lucimine for two Stevens. Just chill. Draw. Just try and draw cards aggressively. That's it. That's all we're looking to do. Draw some cards. And pass back over to our opponent.
Now here's where it might hit them that they can't actually KO Hoopas. Um, now that it's the only things I have in play to attack. They've dealt with the two rigid gigas. Now here's where they might go. Oh, okay, wait, I can't actually attack anything. Concede. Um, that's what I would expect anyways, but we'll see what our opponent has uh, planned. Um, I'm definitely all in favor of them having a way to attack us and make this game more interesting. But we'll see. Can this thing do something I don't think it can? Nope. Just go Hoopa. Once again, can't attack Hoopa. Unless I'm missing something. Maybe that's like a Hoopa Pact. Hoopas can always attack Hoopas. Is, there, is this something that I don't know about that's in the game? I don't think so. I don't think that's a thing. That would be that would be interesting, though. If all of a sudden I get knocked out by the Super GX. Nope, it's going to be getting any two cards out of the deck. Okay, so that makes me think they also... That still makes me think they have a strategy, then. They've got a plan. Um, the Rainbow. Having access to the Rainbow is kind of cool. Having access to the unknown is kind of cool, and I don't know, enhanced hammer maybe. You never know. I mean, I feel like this is, despite me not being super comfortable and familiar with this deck, I feel like this has actually gotten to the point where it's like, well, actually, who has any idea what you grab here? Oh, okay. So they do have a way to knock us out. It is through, but it needs four dark energy. Um, but they can do that. That's actually pretty good. Energy switch. Oh, we could get energy switch. Energy switch here. Um, I didn't grab a counter catcher at all. Counter catcher would have been pretty good up here. Good here to bring up back up one of these. All right, we're in a little bit of a spot now. We can just Articuno this though and remove four of the energy, so that's not too bad. And then they're gonna be low on energy once again. I think it's gonna be our plan. Put down the Articuno, and we want the damage on the Articuno so then we can Ace roll the Articuno um, as well. So I don't have an Ace roll in my hand. That's one thing I did not grab with uh, Stevens. Oh, and the judge. Okay, they actually have quite the quite the plan here. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. We're in actually quite the spot now. The judge, the judge as well, makes it actually uh, super interesting. And I think we're gonna lose. I'm not gonna lie. I think we're gonna lose this one now. We got we got a Lucimine to get two Stevens again, or Lucimine Stevens, probably two Stevens actually. Yeah, I think we're probably gonna grab two Stevens here. But I think we need. Uh, more options there it's gonna have to be a hard retreat from our opponent into this dark ride though they will get the knockout yeah i did not see this guy i did not see this guy coming in at all they might be just running out of dark energy at this point though we'll see that's gonna be seven dark energy gone on the next turn not this turn <clears throat> um we're gonna have to send up hoopa if they ever knock out our articuno we do just lose actually this thing is doing 160 so maybe I can't afford to let the Articuno take the damage. I don't know if they can do anything past 160. So Lucimine. Actually, can we win? We take two Stevens. Uh, go bench Oddish. Pass. But then Stevens ends our turn next turn. I think that our opponent's done it. I think they, uh, the cheesy Dark Ride Prism setup uh, is going to win them the game. That's actually super cool that it ended up that way. I actually, that's a super cool play they lined up. That's super cool. I'm a huge fan of this. Despite it involving us losing, I'm actually a super big fan of uh, the play they were able to pull off here. Yep. There's the Abyssal Sleep. Uh, goodbye, Hoopa. We're going to send up Oddish. And then we have to top deck something insane this turn. Uh, Guzma or Countercatcher are pretty much the two outs. We play Stevens. Uh, we have to bench this, play Stevens, and hit. Um, so I think our out becomes bench this. Stevens resolve. We need to... Rare Candy, our Vile Bloom. And then we need to Guzma or Counter Catcher up uh, this guy. Bring that guy into the active. Um, so let's just say Counter Catcher. No, I think I could afford to Guzma next turn. So I would go Guzma on the turn. And then what else would be good to grab? We need to counter the stadium as well, actually, because um, this would make it so this thing is actually doing 140, which actually knocks out our Vile Bloom. So, okay, we have a strategy still. We still have a plan. Um, who knows how many Devoured Field they actually play, though? Maybe it's just one. I would assume just one. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. They're kind of just running out of cards in general here as well. So, And who knows if they actually play any Switch cards? Like, just raw Switch. So, yeah, we're definitely going to bring up this thing. Or we could bring up the Hoopa, actually. That would allow him to rogue ring, though. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually like a big problem for us, the rogue ring. Whatever. 
Uh, Guzma up the Orangaroo. I'd rather have him not Rogue Ring, I guess. Go Mount uh, <coughs> Lana Kula. Candy. And that's it. Pass. Your turn, bud. We'll see what they got on this turn. If they eventually build up into Retreat Orangaroo plus the Varifield. We do just kind of lose. Um, but that's fine. They need a lot to get there. They're already down 10 energy. There's 10 energy in play. Oh, Altar of the Moon is a pretty quick way to uh, to get moving, though, actually. That's a little annoying. Um, but they do need a dark energy still, and they're down 10, like I said. Well, that's going to be some dark energy. They're going to be moving the Orangaroo, no problem. So we're going to have to go Max Potion, Steven's Resolve for Max Potion Stadium Countercatcher. Um, and then we're still in a situation where we could just lose... Um, Gonna put the double asleep. That doesn't really matter. Yeah. So we're still we're still in this, we're still fine. We still have a, we still have a game plan. That's that's the important part. We still have a game plan. Play stadium. Guzma something up or counter catcher something up, I guess. And then also get another max potion so the Vileplume could live another turn potentially. Um, depends on our top deck. If our top deck does something different. Oh wait, the dark Knight can't attack us because uh, we're he's a basic. Oh okay, this is fine. So they need to like. Oh oh, we're cool. We're chilling. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, Steven Drizzle. Gonna go ahead and grab a. Um, so just in case, so we're gonna grab Stadium. Counter catcher, gotta prepare for that play. I think no matter what. And what else is cool here? Steven's Resolve is kind of cool. I don't hate Steven's Resolve. Our last Lucimine is prized, so we can go Gladion for Lucimine next turn. So you just take another Steven's this turn, I guess. That's fine. That's cool. I think it gets the job done for the most part. Um. Really don't want what's in his active and his active. We can counter catcher next counter catcher out of it next turn though. Yeah, replace stadium. Counter catcher up. Uh probably this guy now. But yeah, counter catcher this guy up. And then go from there. Although if they do have a another devoured field, which with this stadium in the deck as well, I feel like they probably don't play another devoured field. Um, I think we're good. But I mean, I don't know. This deck's a little little crazy, a little wonky. Could definitely have another devoured field chilling somewhere which would be a little annoying all right i think we're good get rid of this stadium counter catcher up this thing's kind of cool to counter catcher up yeah bring this guy up here we could actually bench the whale lord and put the whale lord in the active um it's the hardest thing to knock out and they have one prize um, so this plays around Devoured Field and like any kind of sh possible shenanigans our opponent could play. So I think I'm going to do this. Um, and then go Wailord and then pass. Um, we'll Gladion for the Lusamine next turn. Um, but now I think it's impossible for our opponent to pull off any kind of shenanigans. 300 HP, Wailord, Magikarp GX, Magikarp, Wailord GX, uh, big, big boy. No way to one shot it for sure. Maybe they can two shot it. Um, Gladion, we need to get this other Lusamine. I think that's the only thing we'd ever want here. Yeah, everything else can chill. I don't like anything else. And I think we've actually reached the point where it's actually just a matter of time before we win. I think we just win eventually. I don't think our opponent could possibly have anything to beat us, even if they move this Hoopa this turn. Yeah, I'm not even going to move the Hoopa this turn. Huh? All right. Um, Steven Resolve, we're just going to set up for worst case scenario. We're going to get the Counter Catcher. Another max potion, and I don't know. Uh, this team Skullgun's kind of cool. That's a cool card, right? Um, Pumerian might be a little bit better. Uh, no, let's go with the team Skullgun. Uh, Bills analysis. Uh, change it up. Doesn't really matter. Um, I think we're going to start Lusamine chaining on our next turn. We're going to go Lusamine for Lusamine something into Lusamine for Lusamine something into Lusamine for Lusamine something, and just wait until unknown eventually triggers Lusamine and a resolve. Sure, why not? And if our opponent is able to move our act, their active and hit us, we have Max Potion plus Counter Catcher again. Um, I guess we should have Lusamine for Guzma there. Um, so that was a mistake, but it's okay. We'll do that this turn. Lusamine, get Guzma Lusamine. That was definitely the correct play last turn. So that way we could go Max Potion Guzma and save the Counter Catcher um, for as long as possible. Yeah, we kind of want to hold on to Counter Catcher. Um, for as long as possible. Whenever we can use the Guzma instead of the Counter Catcher and still pull off the same play, 
Um, because if they are come to the active and do hit us, um, we just want to heal it, plus bring something else up. Um, so whenever we can do it with Guzman set of counter catcher, we always want to. So that's what we're looking at. That's, that's the play we want to look to set up, which would be Max Potion Guzman set of Max Potion counter catcher. There's a DCE. I did not expect that. I'm not prepared at all for that. Um... All right, that prepares us for that. So now we can deal with it. How many rescue search are we used? Zero. So I'm gonna get rid of these guys. We'll shuffle them in eventually with a rescue stretcher and pass. And then we're just gonna run it back next turn. Lusamine, grab Plumeria Lusamine. And there's the concession. Like you, we usually actually never win through the unknown hand. We have to just be like, well, we have it. You're gonna have to deal with it eventually. And then they're like, well, you can't deal with it. I'm like, well, that means you lose. And they're like, well, you're right. And then they concede. So can't get the best quality of games out of PTCGO with this deck, but I did what I could, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Links in the description for my Twitch live stream, as well as social media links in the description below. Check all that fun stuff out. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.